I just purchased a Sojak electric violin from Argentina and I wanted to do a review because there aren't a lot of videos of these violins online and um, not a lot of English ones either. I contacted the manufacturer through his Facebook page uh, using Facebook Messenger and um, asked him about a specific uh, violin that he had posted to Facebook and Instagram. And um, he got back to me right away. Um, so the violin took about 10 days to uh, get to my house and I've been playing it the last couple days and I'm still getting to know it the same way you would get to know any instrument, but I'm really, really happy with it. So this is a semi hollow body instrument and it weighs about 700 grams. Um, that is quite a bit heavier than a normal violin, um, but I, I already have other violins that weigh a lot. So I have a glasser carbon fiber violin that is 620 grams. Um, and I have a Yamaha YEV, which is uh, 580 grams. Now the YEV is pretty deceptive because all that weight is in the back end and it actually ends up feeling lighter than an acoustic. But um, anyways, it has a quarter inch jack on the side for output and also an eight inch headphone jack. On the back, there is a compartment for a nine volt battery to power the active piezo pickup and there's a battery switch on there. This violin has a maple bridge and um, I'm assuming the body is flame maple. Um, it's some kind of flamed wood uh, with an amber, very glossy amber finish on it. This violin shipped with Tomasilk Alice 708 strings. I've never played these strings before, so I don't know um, new violin, new strings. I don't know what to compare them to. I think I'm going to switch them to helicores, which is what I'm used to, um, or maybe even something a bit darker to cut down on some of the brightness of the violin. The output on this is really loud, really clear, and really bright. Not quite as bright as the Yamaha YEV, um, but definitely one of the brighter um, electric violins that I've played. So I'm going to play some sound samples for you here. Um, this isn't the most professional setup in the world. I am playing into my Samsung phone, um, but this is um, what I'm able to do here with the equipment I have on hand. So I'm going to play through a preamp and I'm going to also play without the preamp into an alto powered speaker. The preamp that I'm using is a Tech 21 acoustic fly rig. Any reverb that you hear is just um, the small room that I'm in here. There's no reverb coming off the preamp. <laughs>
first pearl is that the build quality of this is excellent. Um, you pick it up, you can just feel uh, that it's built well. Um, the finish is absolutely gorgeous. This thing, uh, hopefully my phone uh, camera here can do it justice. It's a beautiful uh, finish that looks like, um, like a honey or something like that, uh, or an amber. It is, every surface of it is glossy. Um, the back of the neck is glossy. I know some violinists don't like the, the back of the neck finished, but it, it is on this. The output is, like I said, strong and clear. As to the cons, and uh, keep in mind some of this is subjective, um, but it's a heavy violin, uh, one of the heavier violins that I've ever owned. I owned a Fender FV3. Um, that was heavier and not as balanced. The weight of the Fender was really way too far out over the neck. So it really, um, it was hard to hold. This violin, it's heavy, but the weight is concentrated back towards the lower bout. So it's sitting over your shoulder. And I, I think I'm going to be able to get used to it. At, at first, I had problems with my glasser because that was heavier too, but I got used to it over time. This is me, but I don't like battery switches. I wish that um, the battery would turn on automatically when it had an input plugged in. Um, the other thing is that I, I wish this violin had a little bit more in the low end. Um, the tone knob alone, in my opinion, is not enough to um, get rid of the zinginess um, that's in um, this violin. But you know what? The same thing goes for any electric violin. I think any electric violin, you, you end up having to use EQ, whether that's on your board or in a pedal. So all in all, this is an excellent electric violin, in my opinion. So that's my review of the Sojak electric violin. Please uh, check out their Facebook page and their Instagram account and um, feel free to get a hold of me on Facebook or through email if you have any questions about this violin.